Is pneumonia dangerous? Well, it can be. It can be deadly even. Today, November 12th, is World Pneumonia Day. So, let's talk about pneumonia. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dr. JB. Today's topic is pneumonia. So what is pneumonia? It's an infection that affects your lungs and it can be caused by a variety of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. You have air sacs in your lungs called alveoli. That is where oxygen that you breathe in enters into your bloodstream. So usually those air sacs are full of air. However, in pneumonia, there is inflammation of those air sacs and they are no longer filled with air. Oftentimes they get filled with fluid or even pus. So what happens then? Well, you breathe in that air but now the oxygen has some difficulty getting into your bloodstream because now there's fluid and pus in those air sacs. That can result in shortness of breath, which can be a symptom of pneumonia. Other symptoms of pneumonia include coughing, which can be productive, meaning you cough up phlegm, or unproductive, meaning you have a dry cough. You can have fevers, you can have chills, fatigue, chest discomfort, to name a few symptoms. How do you get pneumonia? Well, you can breathe it in through the particles in the air. Sometimes you can develop it through bacteria located in your nose and in your lungs. Fungal infections oftentimes come from the soil and they usually affect people who have weakened immune systems. Is pneumonia contagious? Sometimes it can be. Viruses are extremely contagious, and some bacterial infections are also contagious. Fungal infections are not that contagious, and again, they oftentimes affect people with weakened immune systems. People at risk for developing Severe infections with pneumonia include people over the age of 65 or less than five, people who smoke, who are immunosuppressed or have a weakened immune system because of HIV or cancer, or are on medications that cause their immune systems to be weakened. Is pneumonia contagious? It can be. Viral infections are very contagious, and some bacterial infections are also contagious. Fungal infections are not that contagious. So it really just depends on which pneumonia you have. So how do you minimize spreading pneumonia to others? Well, one way is by sneezing and coughing into your elbow, and then maintaining good hand hygiene. Because pneumonia is spread not only through coughing and sneezing into the air without covering your mouth, but if you cover your mouth with your hands and then you don't wash your hands or you sneeze into a tissue and you don't wash your hands right after and so the germs are on your hands and then you touch a surface like a doorknob or a table and then somebody behind you goes and touches that doorknob or that table and then voila, your germs have been spread to them. So having good hand hygiene is essential. I must point out that COVID pneumonia is different than the other viral pneumonias that I'm talking about. And I will be making a video specifically about COVID pneumonia soon. When we look at mortality or death from pneumonia, in the US, tens of thousands of people die from pneumonia each year. And worldwide, those numbers are in the millions. Which is why World Pneumonia Day was created in the first place back in 2009. So 
With that being said, to summarize, pneumonia can be deadly, but it is extremely important that you monitor for signs and symptoms of pneumonia because it is something that is treatable. How do you treat it? Well, it depends on which kind of pneumonia you have. Viral pneumonias are treated supportively, meaning medications to make you feel better, take away your aches and your pains, treat your fevers. If you're having wheezing, you can get prescribed medications to help with the wheezing. But ultimately, with viral pneumonias, the treatment is time. Time to allow the virus to make its way out of your system. For bacterial pneumonia, you'll get prescribed the antibiotics. If you find value in the information that I shared with you today, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it, hit that notification bell so that you are notified of future videos when they are released. And of course, until we meet again, please stay safe. Got nothing else to tell, subscribe and hit the bell, smash that like button, dash it, stop frontin', until we meet again, yeah, share it with a friend, Dr. JB is my name and medicine.